one of the greats in our business, a sweetheart, Mr. Red Buttons. Nahava Salem Behesis Rohel Ami Hovito Toyro meets voice Hockey Mumish Pohoti Oh, I saw no only muddy top of a river by And now, another beautiful refrain from the high holidays. Of course, I miss Young Kipper too. But I did cleanse myself because this last year I robbed, I stole, I murdered. <laughs> I killed, I rebelled, I tumbled, I whatever, oy, the terrible things that I did. <laughs> Kindandan sano obishime nagara. Hanna yo me god yo hoa na ze na ku no dalo I'd like to see a show of hands who people who remember this little refrain <laughs> This was a Japanese song from Sayonara <laughs> But if that doesn't sound Jewish no wonder they blame Pearl Harbor on the Jews. <laughs> Tonight, it is my great pleasure and my great honor to present the Five-ish with the uh, New York Alumni Man of the uh, Year Award. Five-ish and I have a lot in common. His father came from Warsaw, my father came from Warsaw. We are Varshava, Varshava. He's a New Yorker through and through. He was born in Brownsville, Brooklyn. <laughs> Must have been a jailbreak today. <laughs> Brownsville, Brooklyn gave the world murder incorporated. A nice little fraternal organization to control the population of the world. <laughs> you could go either way for three miles and not leave the scene of the crime. Fivish and I, from the same era, and we walked hand in hand to the promise of America. Freedom. Freedom to pursue our dreams. I made it. Fivish didn't. That show business. <laughs> Fiverr drifted into the Yiddish theater. Wonderful, wonderful theater, which was located on the Lower East Side and Second Avenue. Great neighborhood. <laughs> a woman says to a pushcart peddler, how much for that spoon? He says, a penny. She says, too much. <laughs> he says, make me an offer. <laughs> the Yiddish theater, the audiences were twice as funny as anything that was happening 
on the stage. This is a true story, but I will repeat it again. Matinee Idol, we'll call him Tomaszewski. Didn't happen to him, but it's a nice name. I like to roll Tomaszewski. He's in the middle of working, and all of a sudden, boom, he falls right down on the stage, and he lays there. Hush, came into the audience. Stage manager walked out, circled him once, lifted his head up, and made the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tomaszewski is dead. A guy in a balcony yells down, give him an enema. <laughs> Stage manager says it wouldn't help. The guy yelled back, it wouldn't hurt. That's where Fivish, that's where Fivish came from, Paul Muni, Edward G. Robinson, Lawrence Olivier. <laughs> little humor, little humor, folks. He learned his business well, and he traveled, and he worked, and he raised a wonderful, wonderful family. And he's getting this award tonight. For me, for me, the award should be for his kindness, for the goodness in his smile, and in his heart. We brought out a lot of stars that came. Menasha Skulnik, Amali Pekan, all these big stars. Skulnik was one of my favorites. He was my mentor. And he was very unique. He was that tall but his talent was that high. All he had to do, thank you, is put on his little hat. Hello. You know me. I'm a nice schoolnik, hello, hello. Until I got married, took me a long time. I met a girl, I introduced a girl, my father said, pa, this is the girl I'm going to marry. He looked at her and he said, Menashe, you can't marry this girl because this girl is your sister. <laughs> so I met another girl, they introduced the other girl, my father, he looked at her and he said, Menashe, you can't marry her either. She's also your sister. I became wild, I ran to my mother and I said, Ma, Ma. What kind of a husband did you take? Every girl he says that I introduced him, he says I can't marry them because my, my, uh, that girl is my sister. But you know Yiddish your mamas. My mama says to me, Menashe, marry whoever you want. It is nicht dein Tate. For the band. Marry whoever you want, he's not your father. <laughs> A fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But in our little village of Anatevka, you might say that every one of us is a fiddler on the roof trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anatevka's our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I could tell you in one word. Tradition. Because of our traditions, we've kept our balance for many years. Here in Anatevka, we have traditions for everything. How to eat, how to sleep, even how to wear our clothes. For instance, we always keep our heads covered 
and wear these little prayer shawls. This shows our constant devotion to God. You may ask, how did these traditions get started? I'll tell you, I don't know. But it's a tradition. And because of our traditions, everybody here knows who he is and what God expects him to do. And here is Tevye coming home for Sabbath, coming down the lane with his milk cans, coming here to visit for the Sabbath, and here he is! Oh dear God, you made many, many poor people. I realize, of course, it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I made a small fortune? Huh? Ah, you know what they say, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. <laughs> oh, if I were a rich man, all day long I'd be the bitty bum, if I were a wealthy man. I wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a bitty bitty rich, yida deedle, dida deedle man, I'd build a big tall house, rooms by the dozen, right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof with real wooden floors below. There could be one long staircase just going up. One even longer coming down, and one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd fill my yard with chicks, turkeys and geese, ducks for the town to see and hear, squawking just as noisily as they can. And with each like a guy, take a kid, take a cat, take a qua, would land like a trumpet on the ear. As if to say, here lives a wealthy man. If I were a rich man, all day long I'd be the bitty bum. If I were a wealthy man, hey! I see my wife, my golden, looking like a rich man's wife with the proper double chin, supervising meals to our heart's delight. I see her putting on airs, strutting like a peacock. Oh, what a happy mood she's in, screaming at the servants day and night. The most important men in town will come to fall on me. They will ask me to advise them. Like a Solomon the Wise. If you please, Reptavia, pardon me, Reptavia, posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. And it won't make one bit of difference if I answer right or wrong. When you're rich, they think you really know. If I were rich, I'd have the time that I lack to sit in the synagogue and pray. Maybe have a seat by the eastern wall. And I discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day. That would be the sweetest thing of all. Ah. Mm. Mm. If I were a rich man, all day long I'd be the bitty bum If I were a wealthy man Hey! Wouldn't have to work hard Yo-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
I, the lion and the lamb, you decreed I should be what I am. But would it spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a well free man? Hey! Wonderful to sit here in the shade when none of the woes of man are made. I'm glad I'm not young anymore. All the rivals that don't exist at all, the feeling you're only two feet tall. Oh, I'm glad I'm not young anymore. No more confusion, no morning after surprise, no self delusion that when you're telling those lies. She isn't wise. And even if love comes through the door, the kind that goes on forevermore, forevermore, is shorter than before. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm not young anymore. <laughs> A tiny remark that tortures you, the feeling your friends won't like it too. Oh, I'm glad I'm not young anymore. The longing to end a stale affair and then to find out she doesn't care. Oh, I'm glad I'm not young anymore. No aggravation, no star-crossed lover am I. No more sensations. Just one reluctant reply, lady, goodbye. Oh, that fountain of youth is dullest paint. Methuselah is my patron saint. I've never been so comfortable before. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm not young any. Is dull as paint. Methuselah is my patron saint. I've never been so comfortable before. Oh, I'm so glad that I'm not young anymore.